All right, here we go. <laughs> Another fantastic blow your mind Revit tip. I'm just kidding. Today's Revit tip is just an overview. It's an overview of visibility graphics. So that being said, there are some um, visibility graphics like VG or right clicking on things or setting your global settings. What controls the objects more powerfully than the other? What can override the last thing? Okay, so let me um, show you the order of how visibility graphics controls things. And we'll start, let me shrink my face down to the Yahoo deal down here. All right, here's a normal floor plan and, and here's the second floor of the same building, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna use this little floor plan to demonstrate visibility graphics. So let me make a view, a little drafting view. Sure, um, notes, we'll call it notes. And here's what I wanna do. I'm gonna put um, some notes here. Okay, look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Now look at that. Whoa, that's powerful. That's amazing, Mike. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I want to talk to you about number five, down here at the bottom. <clears throat> this guy would be global. Global settings, okay? I think the only, the, the issue here is that it's object um, styles. We're gonna go there. And it's lines only, only. How do you spell only? Okay, look at that. So there we go. Global settings, object styles are lines only. So let's go back to here. <clears throat> In our floor plan, it's a normal little floor plan here. I'm going to go to manage object styles and show you guys something. Let's just go, let's go all the way down to um, walls and say, how about all walls that I cut through are gonna be number eights and they're going to be, I don't know, dashed one eighth, okay? Ready, wait for it. Bam, global settings, yay! It's the lowest level of control, but it pushes this setting to all views. So let me show you. Here, it's, here it is, it pushed that setting that I just made to the first floor, it'll push it to the second floor, it'll push it to a section, look at that, see? It pushes it everywhere, it's global in nature. Very nice. So, back to the first floor, <clears throat> and back to our notes. What is next in control? Let's, um, let's put a line in here, okay. Next in control that can override, and that's why I put it over, override the global settings, is going to be when you type, ready? When you type VG on your keyboard, okay? That's the next thing that happens when if you want to control single, now watch this, um, wait a minute, one view and multiple views. Oh dear, how are we gonna do this? If you wanna control one view, let's just say the first floor plan, if I wanted to, um, I'm going to turn off my view template just for a second, cause that's next, wait a minute. Okay, so when the view template is turned off, I'm only controlling this one view. And I could say VG on the keyboard, and I just typed it, and this comes up, and I could scroll down to furniture, and I could say, <laughs> the pattern of all furniture in this project is gonna be solid and purple, okay? Bam, for this view, and there we go solid and purple, and so what I've just done is I I can, it overrides any global settings that I have. And so <clears throat> I could have, hey, a better example might have been, I'm just gonna temporarily, I'm gonna type VG, I'm gonna say, dude, walls, the cut, ooh, this is good, the cut lines of a wall, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna leave the line weights where I set them globally, but I'm gonna change the line uh, color to this blue, okay? 
So there we go. See, I have overridden. It's a higher level. It's one level up. I can override the global settings. Okay, so let's come back here. And that's kind of ugly, so I'm going to undo that. Um, leave them black. But I'm just saying, okay, I'm just saying. Now, if you want an override to happen, if I go to the second floor, you'll notice that the furniture is not purple. If you want an override, one of these VG type VG, you only get one view. But if you want multiple views to work, you have to use, yep, you guessed it, view templates. View templates. I spelled it right. View templates control multiple views. So it's basically like typing the same thing, VG, but on multiple views. So we're going to go back. Okay. So on this plan, what I want to do is turn on view template, turn on plan, and that overrides because it's controlling the view. And so I can come in here. I can go to my model objects and I can come down here. Let's just go to furniture again. I can go to furniture and I can say the surface pattern of all furniture, no matter where it is, is going to be this color pink. Yay, nice pink color of all my furniture. There we go. So that's going to happen in all views that are using this template, first and second floor. See? Okay. So we've covered two out of the five. So let's get another line in here. <clears throat> okay. Come up above that guy. Go back down. That's really talented, Mike. Okay. Number three. What is next most powerful? You ready for this? Phases. Phases are the next most powerful thing. Okay. So if I go, um, let's go. I'm going to go to modify. No, I'm not. I'm going to go manage my phases and say on my graphics, if anything is existing, let's just say if it's existing, it turns to, let's turn it dark gray or, oh, this green, this green, ooh, that's pukey. It's going to turn pukey green if it's existing. And also if, um, if something, here, where's that pukey green? There it is. Pukey green. Um, if I cut through it or if, you know, see, if, if I cut through it or if it's a surface pattern. Woohoo! Let's see anything that's existing. I can override stuff. Hey, leave me alone. So I'm going to go back to my plan. Well, this chair just happens to be existing. Yay! Pukey greens. We love it. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just showing you. The next, anything that I pick in here, I can turn, I, I can make it, um, here's my stair, maybe it's existing, wait for it, wait, it. face created, there it is, existing, yay, pukey green stairs, but all the lines went away, and that's not very good when you're dealing with phases, you want the lines to be there, so I kind of want the lines, <clears throat> the lines um, of an object Let's let's not get into the nitty gritty of this thing. But the the lines of an object, I'm going to um, have the mm -hmm, let's turn it black, okay? The surface lines of objects turn black, and if I'm cutting through objects, the surface lines cut them black. Okay, all right. <clears throat> okay, so there we go. So so you can see the lines. The, the line work. I just wanted to come back so you could see it. Okay. So anything existing is pukey. See, that is the next level up. Wait, I didn't even type it. Right there. Phases. Okay. Phases are the next level of power. Now, let's, um, let's get another line in here. Mm -hmm. Hey, look at that. I could go straight that time. The next most powerful thing that you can do in a drawing that will override anything below it are, ready for it, wait for it, type in it right now. Can you wait? Can you wait? Filters! Woohoo! Filters control the next level. So let's go back to the plan. Let's just say I want a filter that turns 
certain subset. See, because I would use VG, visibility graphics, to turn off entire categories. But what if I wanted to turn off a subset, a subcategory of my um, objects? And so I'm going to say anything that's a chair, turn it blue. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go, I'm going to have to go to my filter. I mean, my view template because it's controlling this view. And then I'm going to go in here to filters, come to filters. I'm going to add a filter. I'm going to make a new one, new filter. Watch this, um, chairs. I'm going to call it chairs. The category is going to be furniture, but not all the furniture do I want it to turn blue. I want just the furniture that in its name contains the word chair. Okay, simple as that. And so I'm going to, okay, add chairs, and there it is. And I'm going to tell them all to be blue, solid. And any chairs are going to go dark blue right there. Bam. Okay. So filters, there we go. Filters are the next level up. They control. Okay. Next, um, lastly, before we're done, is right clicking on an object. And I'm just going to type it right here. Right click. If you right click on an object, it has the final say, okay? So I'm gonna go back to my plan. I can right click on any object, no matter if it's being controlled by a filter or a template or anything. I can right click on an object. I'm gonna do this table. Right click, go to override the graphics in view, and I can tell this object to be anything I want. I'm gonna be yellow, okay? And that overrides. It's the highest level of control in your plans. Okay? So let's go back to the notes. Right click. So you start out with global settings. That works wonderfully. But you can override global settings with VG for a single view. Or if you apply visibility graphics to multiple views, you would do it with view templates. Thirdly, phases. Phases and the phase filters will control higher level than that. Then filters, normal filters, which work on subsets of categories. And you can be specific. You can pick out exact objects that are on a, it's a part of a subset of a full category. So you don't have to do the whole category. And lastly, right clicking on an object and picking the um, override the graphics in that view. All right. I hope that helps you guys. It is wild looking at visibility graphics. but that was just an overview. We'll get into some deeper into the weeds on those as we go. So for all of you out there, happy Reviting. And I'll talk to you again on another Revit tip. Hey, don't, for, don't forget to comment below and to give me some ideas of what you would like to see as a new Revit tip. All right. Have a good day. Okay, bye.